Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, my name is Yingyue. I am the International Communications Officer of Taihun Institute. Uh, and I'm also one of the hosts of today and today's event. And joining me today is Victoria um, from the Scholar Network. Um, so today's webinar is actually the first um, session that uh, Taihun Institute is co-hosting with the Scholar Network on topic of the metaverse. Before we start everything, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for taking your precious time and join us uh, in, and I'm sure it'll be a really fun and informative hour because we have like three really amazing speakers joining us from different time zones and, you know, talking about this amazing um, topics on metaverse from different perspectives. Now um, let's move along. Um, I, mean, I would like to introduce um, our amazing speakers to everybody here. Um, today, um, first of all, we have um, um, Mr. Igor Tasik. Uh, so Igor is the founder of Meta Ventures, uh, which is a metaverse first advisory and launchpad space, uh, launchpad space for creatives, entrepreneurs, and inventors. Uh, Igor is a member of World Economic Forum's Digital Leaders Network and the advisor to multiple corporations, startups, and innovation hubs. He was also the founder and CEO of Startup Europe, Europe Week, uh, which is the most significant regional entrepreneurship movement globally promoted with the European Commission and present in over 300 cities and 50 countries with a global audience of more than 8 million entrepreneurs. Um, and next we have Laura Grunberg with us. Uh, Laura is a consultant uh, focusing on complex financial and cross-border strategic communications mandates at uh, Kex CNC. And prior to this role, uh, Laura spent almost half a dec decade in China and Southeast Asia, where she established a track record in managing corporate strategy and digital initiatives, scaling a digital team for the Swiss multinational DKSH. Laura also supported a major Chinese conglomerate with its positioning across global capital markets. And last, uh, we have Dr. Thorsten Jelinek with us. Thorsten is actually a senior fellow and the European director of Taihun Institute. Um, so he is actually the managing director of DPG Digital Platform Governance. Uh, and he's also the member of the advisory board of the OECD Trust in Business Initiative. And also he is an affiliated scholar at the Department of Sociology at the University of Cambridge. So Thurston served as the Associate Director at the World Economic Forum from 2011 to 2014. And his research focuses on AI ethics and governance, cybersecurity and international relations. So um, without, and that's, that's it for, for our speakers and welcome. And thank you, thank you very, very much for taking your precious time and joining us. And so without further ado, I would like to give uh, the floor to Igor first. Igor, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Uh, you can hear me well, right? This is a very important thing as a metaverse experience. My, what I'm going to say, it's I, I, Salmon, I know is here. Uh, we talk a lot about, about this. I don't talk from a, a, a perspective of an opinion or trends. I, I usually focus on what is the truth and I try to pursue the truth. So that's my quest. What is the truth in everything? And with my experience in business, I when I saw the evolution of the internet, like Mark, 20 years ago, I always expected that we would arrive to this moment uh, in the internet. And, and I, I feel that what's going on in the world and what's going on with the distraction of societies in general, I think we are in the crossroads. I think we either do and take this next step of the internet, which is the metaverse in a serious way that we can develop and deploy technology so everybody can be a best the best human possible and we can actually use the internet to connect and have one world because that is the goal right that's the that is the idea of the internet it's just uh not even utopian i think that's that's what technology is and i think the metaverse is no difference the metaverse is an expression of the internet is the next step in making this true uh, and if we, I'm uh, just doing this caveat before talking specifically, because I think it's important that, uh, people are so distracted and uh, we are still in the middle of a pandemic, 
we are still dealing with so many things that there is so much denial uh, in many, and uh, I, I live in Spain, I've seen many of the Western countries uh, that is, I'm sorry about the word, but it's so disgraceful that I think it's very important uh, this message and this type of, of seminar that we're putting together to really talk about what's in it. What can we do to make technology work for us, not us working for the technology? I think this is a very important thing, uh, uh, especially uh, if you're having uh, folks here that are you know, younger professionals. I, I have uh, two kids. I want them, <laughs> when they're my age, uh, in, in the metaverse, that it's going to be a, a nice place, a place for discovery, a place for, uh, like I was, I was watching the winter, the winter Olympics in Beijing. It is so inspiring, you know. And you see sports, but when you see people just thriving, and 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 I think that should be true in the internet too. When we, whenever we, we we see a video, or I think it's about the experience. So the beautiful thing is that because we are in the beginning, we can build the future as we want. And that's the, the core message that I want to give here is that whatever was done, whatever people are doing, whatever they are saying, I think uh, we should pick just the things that are going to make us better, make us better humans, Ma make the technology work for us, that you're never going to be enslaved by it. You know? And then we can create content. So I decided to focus this quick talk, and then I'd really like to have a conversation. Uh, what I consider the three th the three C's of the metaverse that I think are very uh, interesting for us as professionals, growing businesses, growing ourselves, and and the three C's I think is valid for the three C's of the internet. And I call the three C's the creators, the curators, and the connectors. Uh, and the creators, the creators are us. I think we all he was. That's the uh, most of my research is on entrepreneurship and startups. And I think we forget that you don't have a course to become an entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur as a human, and you you just put into practice. The thing is that most people forget it. Now that we forget, I, I hate that word that people say. To err is human, okay, but to be excellent is also human. To be fun, wonderful is always also human. And and being a creator, which is something that. I started to see that when I started Startup Europe Week uh, in more than 50 countries, when people coming from the middle of not the, the smallest village possible, and they were dreaming high. I remember I was called once to support uh, entrepreneurs in Bosnia, and Bosnia had a war, and and they were. I saw I, I saw people that never never had uh, uh, they, they they didn't speak like fluent English, but they had big dreams. And they were possible, they could be integrated in a global world. They, they were, they saw the possibilities. And despite the fact that they were in Bosnia, uh, they could think in just one big world. And I was there just talking about it. You know, how can a person from a small town be a global entrepreneur? And then over these last 10 years, that has been true, that has evolved. But now I think it, I don't even talk about the regional entrepreneurship, I talk about the entrepreneurship of one. Or that everybody here, here, you are, you're as competitive as anyone in Silicon Valley or New York. Of course, there will still be, uh, or, or changing, there will still be uh, advantages in being changing compared to another uh, smaller city. But that doesn't prevent you to start some. Or if you're in Karachi, it doesn't it doesn't prevent you to start something and get from that point onward. So I think the metaverse. The curate the creation part is that uh, people that start to think about integrating experiences and and um, I don't know if you if you if you find me on, on the web you're gonna see some of some videos on me talking from from the metaverse as an avatar there is no difference I think that I think that I'm an avatar right here right now you know in the format of a video if I'm an avatar 3D in a 3D representation it's, it's no different the thing is how can we create experiences and content that really is that's really meaningful, that, is, that really impacts someone, not that you should, but bringing the best of yourself. And it's not being an influencer. That is not being a, a just one more content creator. It's just about putting together the knowledge that you yourself have, that you yourself have your experience. If you happen to be from, like I have a good friend from Chengdu, he knows everything about Chengdu. So if he can put together that experience and connecting technology 
uh, creation to inspire the people, that's what the metaverse we need. I mean, we are day one, day one for the metaverse. And one more example that I usually like to, to say that I don't know, probably maybe you guys know, but the country that has the biggest penetration in e-commerce is China. And then if you, if you see the moms and pops store that maybe the, the moms and pop, they don't know how, they are not fully literate in computer, in computing, but they have a phone and they have WeChat and they know how to sell and they can sell this and then they are fully digitalized, digitized. They are, they are way more in the 21st century than maybe a store in Madrid that hired like a million dollar consultancy to create a digital strategy that they don't know how to get forward and then they, they, couldn't, uh, they couldn't survive the peak moments of the pandemic. And the moms and pops in, selling a, a $1 coffee, they're doing well because they understood that flexibility in the internet and uh, adapting is the essence and using technology to adapt is the essence. So creating uh, on the, with that in mind, that is a key element in the metaverse for sure. The second point I'd like to make is about curation. Huge thing. And yeah, everybody had an experience once, once in a while, once in your life, you went to a museum. Uh, uh, what is great about the museums, at least what is great for me about a museum is you don't see everything there. You don't see every single piece or piece of art or, or anti antiquity there uh, that is there, but you see a representation. You see those three statues or those two paintings that are great representations for that specific uh, type of art. And that is great. That is beautiful because then you get inspired by that artist. You get inspired by that type of art. And then you, you have the foundation to build, to do more. So the metaverse again, uh, and it's no different than the internet, but I think we are kind of resetting everything. So it's starting over with something new uh, that curators, people who can give the best uh, uh, about their own experience. And I'll give you an example. Uh, my sons and I, we are, we're, we're desperate to, to, to see the, the Great Wall. We've nev never been. Uh, and if we have someone who is a super expert in the, in the Great Wall uh, of China and can give us, look, I'm gonna give you this 10 minutes walk and I'm not there. I mean, using my virtual reality glasses. And that is enough for me to get inspired and look forward for more. That's it. That's the goal. And having people with taste, with the, with, with the uh, ability to see beauty in things, to see effectiveness in things, to be productive. That is true for, uh, that is true for AI. That is true for uh, uh, developing an app. That is true uh, for creating an experience in the metaverse. So being a a curator of content is also, it will also be in huge demand. And the last one is being a connector. I think what you're doing here is a perfect example of a connection. You know, that uh, I never, I could never meet you, but I know I knew Salman and Salman introduced me to you. And then you are gonna introduce me to other people. And then here we are, I don't know how many of us are here, 27 people, 27 people, no matter where we are, no matter where you're from, it doesn't matter, we are here. That is the place that matters. We are in, in here. Of course, as, as uh, Victoria said, as, as it would be great one day to, to meet in person, but if it's not possible, we are here. And this connection that leads to the connection of content, that is the, to the connection to the creation, I think it is the essence of the internet and it's gonna be the essence of, uh, of, meta, of the metaverse. And listen, I, never, I didn't talk about blockchain, I didn't talk about crypto. I didn't talk about any of those things that are polluting. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of disgracing the whole discussion because there will be a digital, of course, there will be digital assets. Of course, this is a digital asset. We are, in, we are right now a digital asset, but that's not the core of the technology. That's not the core of the metaverse. The core of the metaverse, the core of technology is humans, human knowledge, capacity to connect, capacity to listen, capacity to understand what is in, in front of you. And it's not about substitute. It's not about being five hours uh, we're using VR glasses. It's about maybe using 15 minutes, understand something, get inspired by something, and then go to nature. And then explore explore the world. Don't lose this, this, this kind of a children view of seeing the world as, as, a, as a beautiful place and use the technology as, a, as 
as, a, as something to explore. And I stop here. I would really like to have a conversation about it. Thank you. <laughs>